Well, welcome back to LS11. Ed McIntyre here up in the gantry at Ellen Road, and I am joined by Andrew Stats Dalton. Uh, Stats, I would ask how you are, but <laughs> I'd imagine that after that, you're probably not too happy. Yeah, uh, frustrating. Uh, I think they had a, certainly had enough possession to possibly win two or three football matches. Uh, it's just that inability to, to finish off chances now. I can't remember too many clear opportunities. I know Cooper had the header just before half time, hit the crossbar, and Hernandez had one wonderful chance down on the cop end, which I think he just dilly dallies on the ball and he's got a shoot with a whole goal to aim at. The Swans are keeper didn't make too many saves and they've got us on the counter, they've scored from a corner and they've gone away with three points and disappointing to, to sort of end the first batch of games with a defeat. Yeah, that goal that we conceded right at the end as well. But worst time to concede as well, and it was a poor goal to concede as well. Yeah, very reminiscent of the Nottingham Forest goal uh, at set piece. And if you actually look at the goals we've, we've conceded this season, you look back at the Stoke City game, League Cup here on midweek, it was a, one of them was a set piece. Uh, Nottingham Forest was a set piece, and today was a set piece. So I certainly think there's, there's stuff to work on over the international break. Look, it's not it's not disastrous. We're, we're six games into the season. It's going to be a long old slog. We know that, and these games are going to come, and teams are going to come frustrate Leeds at Ellen Road, and that's kind of what Swansea did. And look, it's, it's a long old season. I think the way their fans have, have uh, sort of celebrated it's like the, the one promotion say promotion's a long long way off for, for any team in this division we're, we're six games into a four to six game marathon yeah disappointing to lose today but I think it's the adage that you've got to shoot on sight and take your chances yeah absolutely and as you said we, we missed many opportunities and we always seem to say that mm. with Leeds United especially when we drop points we dominate the games particularly in that first half we were brilliant mm. but we just missed so many chances yeah it, it, again it's that an inability it's just that final ball lacking and an interesting statistic we've not scored at home in the league or at home actually all season in the first half but if you look away from home we have done like we did in all three games at Bristol yeah. City it, it seems to be a different Leeds United yeah. side away from home I, compared to I, I don't know if there's a lot less pressure on us away from home or what I, I can't kind of put my, fi put my finger on it but yeah frustrating today because uh, I thought some of the football we played was really nice football again it's just that lack of killer instinct and I'm sure Bales will have them in for, for sessions between now and, and Barnes it's just frustrating we've got now wait two weeks going to the yeah. international break uh, for a big Yorkshire derby at Oakwell uh, two weeks on Sunday yeah of course five points dropped now uh, all points dropped at home as well going into this international break mm. what needs working on what, especially at home what needs working I th on I think shooting I think if they get into a position where they can shoot I know that sounds quite obvious but if they get into a position where they shoot they've got to shoot on side that that especially the one the main one the Hernandez one I think people look back on today and if he has a shot at least the keeper has got to make a save if you hit it on target uh, the keeper's got to at least make, try and make a save Niketia had the back the header which couldn't quite angle his header uh, past him and half a chance when he weren't clean through I'm not even blaming the officials today I, I, look it is, it is what it is uh, it's a classic away performance they soak up a lot of precious ones they smash and grab and, and get the goal right at the end which they probably the play probably didn't really deserve frustrating and now they've got to lick the wounds for two weeks and, and go again at Barnsley yeah, of course it is very frustrating but we have only six games into a season it's still very early and we were listening to Swansea fans after the end of the game they mm. sounded like they've already won promotion it is still very early doors yeah, yeah look it's a, it's a marathon not a sprint I know it's an old adage an old cliche to say but uh, uh, I, th I think it's good to get this kind of performance out of our system. We've, we've, we've going to the Bards game, yeah, it's disappointing to, that we have now got a two-week break. So you always want a game as soon as possible, but they're going to have to kick the heels. Some of the players have gone international duty, and, and they've just got to start again in, in the next batch of games. Look, if, if you look at it, you'd have taken 13 points from possible first 18 if you look at the fixtures. But yeah, it just just leaves a uh, sort of flat. Uh, flat sort of feeling that you have lost at home no one wants to lose games let alone at home Swans' first win here since 1949 at least had won the last 10 beforehand but it's football and we've now got to move on we've got to swallow our pride and, and kind of go again and Bales has got to pick them up in two weeks time yeah, absolutely uh, well thank you uh, for your time yeah, for joining us uh, if you enjoyed make sure to like share subscribe and we'll see you later